Okay. Uh, anyways, hello world. How you doing? Uh, back at the palace here. Up in, uh, up here in the palace. And, uh, having some fun up here. We got that flood one that's still running. Doesn't shut off, found that out. Something's, time clock doesn't shut it off. Low pressure control doesn't shut it off. So, look at that. That's nice. Suction accumulator dripping right on the compressor. Gotta fix that. Have to put a pan under this and put an electric condensate heating element in it to vibrate and insulate that suction accumulator. So I'm putting this new unit in. We're putting in a uh, M2 FM 0075-CFV-020. I don't know if you can read it. It's kind of tough. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. That's a little... There we go. R134A. You can barely see. I only got a little bit of room ductwork it should be so that's three quarter horse 0075 that's what that means okay um, and our refrigerants are 134a we got we're gonna have over 6,000 BTUs at a plus 20 suction on this baby um, putting a suction plume I've got only that half inch line set again I'm gonna hopefully do line sets when I got that quarter inch line Put it in the sight glass right here. Let me see. Uh, flashlight or anyway, yeah. So anyways, we can't. Sorry, I can't. Uh, let's see if I can grab a flashlight. It's, yeah, so it's brand new, dehydrated still. So um, uh, we got this pixel controller in there. Emerson. So we got all that. Gonna go on here. Old time clock. Don't know if I'm gonna need that. Um, so get some fun here. Uh, but, yeah, this is the unit. Uh, so took a half inch. This is the old line into here. Uh, pressure tested the system up. I'm replacing a couple of evaporators downstairs. We're doing that. I found you know some pretty good leaks. When I recovered all the refrigerant out of the old system here. Um, that recovered out only one pound of refrigerant out of the system. Ten-year-old compressor, but so I did a leak check downstairs. Found two two out of three evaporators down the stairs leaking. So I got a couple of VAK 17s to go in downstairs. Those are going to go in Sunday night. This is Saturday right now. So right here, the compressor in this one. I'm trying to flip the video around without turning it off. Hang on. Oh, the sketchiness. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, here we go. We're trying to get the tag for you. Um, so, here we go on that. So, this is fun here. I'm going to build a floor here. This is kind of a death trap, so this is lots of fun. I'm going to put a plywood floor over this. Put a couple of 4x4s uh, four fours down and put a plywood floor in with two screws so I can work here. You know, because this is a lot of stuff that needs to be doing, so I need to, I don't want to be stepping on these lines. This is ridiculous. Four screws and a piece of plywood, I could have this thing all fixed up in 15 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Um, anyways, and this is just, this is just ridiculous work. You can see that thing. Oh, look at that, that's an excellent video, huh? That's not a, that's not a trasher from the bottom compressor wave. 101. All right, so I got to insulate my suction equipment out there. Got a bolt going here, Unistrut securing it down here. So I got the line set that I, I'm gonna hopefully stick that in there. Hopefully that'll make it. We'll be close. Let's see what I gotta do. Um, so it had an old unit in here, flashlight. See, so yeah, ordered a unit and they gave me the wrong unit. We got it all the way up here. This is a different unit. I ordered my unit and then they gave me the wrong unit and I got it all the way up in this attic. And this is the unit they gave me and I would have had to go downstairs. And, and this one doesn't have quite the BTUs. 
that I have a little more BTUs with that uh, other one. And this is what was in there before. Uh, let me see. And this was in there. I'm not going to turn this thing around, but it's uh, that 7465 AXD R12 compressor. Uh, okay. That's what was in there before. Uh, that died because no refrigerant and 10 years old. This one's a 2007. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, that's so. I think, what do we got over here? We got it. Yeah, this definitely ain't hooked up to nothing. So we got a old bone yarder from something. You guys uh, want a unit? We got a compressor over here. And hey, not gonna run that way, huh? Okay, so that's all kinds of fun. All right, so you get lots of fun. All right, this is how you get across here. You got a step across ductwork and go through a hole, go down through there. That's how you get in here, over there, in that hole. Lots of fun. Pipes going through there. Fun the line set. Party. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Click like on the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. All right, man. Okay, this is the far left uh, end of the... Uh, far left evaporator coil. Put the light sniffer down here. That's where it's at. That's where the leak's at. So, uh, and I don't know if you can see the bubble. I can see it. It's way back inside of it. All the way at the wall. And it's way... You can see it. It's The bubble is that rainbow thing. You can see it uh, way, way back there. Oh, the coil's got a hole in it, a pinhole. Just corroded out. Time to replace it. So, let's see what it is here. It's a uh, 05 coil. It's been in here since 05. So that's that's old. Yep. So to see the serial number on it. So, uh, D05, I think it's 115 volt. Okay. That's what I need. Okay, okay world. How you doing? Uh, we got a line here that we're working on tonight. Um, um, about 12, 12 foot long here. This uh, salad line right here. And uh, major problem. This is about piping stuff wrong. You check this out. They got three EVAPs, 1700 BTUs a piece. And they got a half inch suction line, which that half inch should have been run all the way down to the other evap all the way to the third evap this half inch they necked it down right here to three eighths but two three eighths into three eighths into three eighths that isn't how you do it you run a half inch put a half inch t and a half inch t and then you dump your three eighths if you're going to do three eighths into that you dump your three eighths into that half inch t you run a half inch main line down all the way that way you can get your heat out so, major problem. So, that's that. Okay.